What is going on everybody? DJ Waters 22 here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Path of Diablo and also the patch notes that just released. So real quick, if you're just here for the patch notes, I'm going to put it in this corner or maybe this corner of the timestamp. You can just click there. You don't have to watch the entire video. But for those who do need to know what Path of Diablo is, well, basically it's a private server. And if you've never heard of a private server, it's essentially a bot free ladder. There's no D2JSP. There's no hacks. There's no cheaters. And if there are, which of course there always is sometimes, the moderators are fantastic at eliminating it and detecting it. And I don't know how they do it, but they do it somehow. They eliminate it. Um, you know, you have to worry about a lot of people being jerks and of course there's always gonna be a jerk or two that comes in but you can report them very easily and it's just a great community the one awesome thing that i love about path of diablo is the fact that there's a massive hardcore community you know it's very rare that you can find on a private server a, a large hardcore community especially as good as this one and uh i think this is my third or fourth time playing path of diablo i don't really remember but every single time there's just as many people playing hardcore as softcore so everybody wins all the streamers on twitch pretty much are going to be playing hardcore with the exception of maybe one or two people i don't know every single streamer out there but i mean definitely if you're trying to step your game up you want to go hardcore for the first time this is a great opportunity to do so so obviously the name path of diablo sounds very similar to path of exile that's actually intentional because a lot of people from the path of exile community do come over to play diablo 2 i'm a very avid path of exile fan and and player so it's great and they do little minor things nothing that makes it feel like it's not diablo 2 but they'll add in for example corrupted orbs right so what you can do for example is take a wind force right it's a great item blah 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 but if you corrupt it it has the chance of becoming six sockets so it could become super gg or it can become complete crap <laughs> so i mean it's a gamble and sometimes it'll just stay the same but once it becomes corrupted you can never use it again so you know if you took this amazing uh Tyrael's might which isn't really good but whatever let's just say you took Tyrael's might and then you corrupted it it could become incredible absolutely insane or again just complete crap you can do the same with shaco any item in the entire game so it adds a lot more end game content you know you might have thought that that awesome item that you're used to is really good but do you want to make it to that next level and then it's a gamble so again you don't have to do this with your items but it's just really awesome it's an idea that they got from path of exile another major difference between path of diablo and say battlenet is that the very end when you're fighting ubers on battlenet it's, it's kind of easy right especially if you've played the game for a while it's kind of mind numbing it's not the same path of diablo you have what's called mapping there's different tiers of these ubers that you're going to fight it's going to be a lot more difficult it gives you something to do in the end game and you're going to have to make your character very viable there's different things you'll have to do it's not as simple as just getting a smiter and killing ubers right it's a lot more challenging you can pretty much do it with every single character and it's not going to be easy which is probably the best part about it you don't want to keep doing the same stuff you've already done for the last 20 years as far as skills they have added in a few skills for every single character so if you like the original skill Skills, feel free to use those but you can also use some newer skills which is just again something really interesting to do uh unfortunately blizzard never did it for us so definitely these guys did also some of the older skills that you love like frozen orb hydra nova uh, guided arrow uh, fist of heavens you know whirlwind those things are viable once again it's great before blizzard nerfed them and i believe it was 1.09 or 1.08 i can't remember exactly uh, those skills were awesome and then unfortunately they kind of ruined it now i'm not going to get into every single detail right now you can watch that for the patch notes but just understand they have adjusted things and in my opinion pretty much all of it is for the better if i didn't mention it already there's no fail to joins there's no realm downs they don't control how you play as long as you play legit of course um but you know on battle.net you can only join a certain amount of games and you have to go wait in the lobby and you have to sit there and you might you might not be able to play for the next 20 minutes or an hour or two or however long battle.net feels like temporary banning you or realm downing you you know it's just really annoying it's aggravating one of my favorite things about path of diablo is the community people are very supportive helpful you know even in the hardcore you don't have to worry about getting pk'd which is player killed you don't have to worry about people scamming you and if they ever did again you could just screenshot it or report them or whatever they'll look at the logs and 99 percent of the time they'll help you out man and it's just a great positive vibe more often than not if you don't need something people will just give you it if they're in your game of course if they need to trade it that's their right but i do the same you know if i find something super gg that i don't need hey maybe you you can have this i don't really need it and that's really cool in an actual community where you can and make friends and again hang out with the the streamers the youtubers everybody comes together the path of exile and the diablo community and it's very rare when you can get everyone together for a big event for the players that have played other private 
servers you might be wondering well how extreme is path of diablo as far as changing the game is it still going to be that d2 that i love absolutely so i would say path of diablo is just a notch above regular diablo 2 and what do i mean by that like so median xl would be on like the extreme side right uh no hate to median xl but it changes the game completely it doesn't really feel like diablo 2 necessarily it, it, it's a lot different um whereas path of diablo still feels exactly just like the original diablo 2 but with just some changes right just some balance changes and everything so you're not going to really notice too much out of there except for like like i said some of the skills and some of the other things they added it's a great change and it's definitely on the lower end of of, of mods in my opinion as far as familiarization you're definitely going to have that same nostalgic feeling so don't worry there so getting into the patch notes this is really important that you read this these are tentative patch notes which means they are not a hundred percent they're not all the way finished but this friday we'll, we'll know soon enough thunderstorm now receives a damage synergy from lightning surge okay i actually really like thunderstorm and i feel like it's always been two weeks so that's good it looks like it's going to get some more damage thunderstorm damage synergies increase from 10 percent to 20 percent very cool valkyrie's cooldown has been reduced from six to three seconds desecrate can no longer be assigned to left click i don't think that really affects me too much inner sight phase run armageddon and hurricane can now be assigned to the left click that's really cool storm shields damage reduced by 35 percent set has now been reduced to 30 percent i'm assuming they felt like storm shield was just too strong which it really is pretty strong because the max dr is only 50 and you know when you get 35 from a shield okay that's fair enough uber azul has ascended and earned the modifier prime evil oh wow that's that sounds really cool actually this basically makes him like act bosses and other ubers who have special resistances and damage reduction act one mercenaries can now equip crossbows oh yeah that, I mean, that's some more damage there for you all summons will now properly show the quantity of summons alive such as grizzly bear that continue to show one while there are two alive if you didn't know uh, you can have multiple wolves and multiple grizzly bears as a druid so shout out to the summoners out there redemption starting life mana gain reduced from 50 to 25 redemption's life mana gain per level reduced from 10 to 8 three for rune words minimum damage per level has been reduced from 4 to 3.375 and max damage per level from 4.375 to 3.625 so if you use the grief a lot you know this isn't going to be the best patch for you <laughs> desecrate vampire corpse chains to succubus not really sure what that one means feel free to let me know in the comment section below fixed a bug which caused raised skeleton mage to not properly receive increased elemental damage from summon mastery a detailed explanation can be found here i'll put a link in the description below so you can click that for yourself Ray Skeleton has been renamed Ray Skeleton Warrior. Definitely like the name of that warrior. Bone Offerings plus damage percent has been changed to Ray's Skeleton Damage Percent, which benefits both Skeleton Warriors and Skeleton Mages. Also benefits physical damage of revives, but not elemental damage yet, sadly. Again, see above link for details as to why. Concentrate now receives a 10% damage synergy from Taunt. Charged Bolt's travel speed has been reduced at level 1 and will now increase per level. Blades of Ice, which is a newer skill for Path of Diablo, will no longer trigger monster procs such as lightning uh, when hit from scarab demons this does not affect on death triggers blades of ice icicles can no longer knock monsters into hit recovery forsaken sands relic may now spawn blood lords instead of fallen dragon talon and dragon flight now require one-handed melee weapons this is because two-handed weapons weren't actually applying their damage correctly so hopefully this is a temporary solution sorry if i butcher this word oridrum sigil acquisition has changed the sigil will always drop from nilithan in normal and can now sometimes drop in nilithak in nightmare and hell the orb of enchantment can sometimes drop from nilithak in all difficulties and from forgotten desert relic boss the orb can also drop from any monster in game just like the orb of corruption does and flames damage scaling per level at levels 23 plus can be reduced and flame can no longer be cast on other players it will continue to work on summons and mercenaries new enchantments have been added to the horizon sigil stat pool corpse explosion now gains one percent damage per base level Ooh. Ooh, I really like that. That's huge, man. Corpse Explosion now gains 1% damage per base level. That is huge. Could you imagine like plus 30% damage on your Corpse Explosion? That's going to be sick. I think the Necro's got a major win so far. Pus Spitter has been reworked before and after. This is the before right here. And you see 150 to 220 ED and oh wow yeah that definitely looks a lot different there the grandfather has been reworked this is the before right here we see some ed and two to maximum damage now i'm seeing 50 percent chance bonus to attack rating 
3 to 2 handed weapon mastery, 20 to all attributes, and 2% of life regeneration per second. Okay, so that's good. I mean, the grandfather used to be great back in the day, so just a little bit better than it used to be. And again, for the links, you can look at the rest of these on your own. Introducing the new trade website. You can now see your character's inventory and stash online. So kind of like an armory from your character page, you can view items and list them for sale very quickly. You no longer need to screenshot items or type them in manually. Now that is awesome. I would love to trade quicker just like how you did in Path of Exile where you just like right click and trade very quickly. In PoE, you don't have to waste a lot of time manually typing anything. So as you can see in this video right here, it says select the item I want to and it looks like you're just typing in five perfect gems. List it. Wow, that is sick. That's an awesome way to trade. Heck yeah. So just click on your item. You just say, oh, I want to sell this rejuvenation. This is what I'm looking for. And it uploads it to the website. Now, as a buyer, you still would have to look on the website. But as a seller, that's that's awesome. You don't even have to leave the game. I'm loving that change. Tagged items have an icon. All listed items are verified, meaning the player still has them for sale. The player trades the item away. The website will automatically remove it from the listing. This means less tedious unlistings after successful trades. In PoE, that is so annoying when you message someone and they ignore you and then they finally say oh, i don't have it for sale but it keeps showing it on the website that's incredible that they made this change you can also swap characters instantly in one click without any page load so here's our demonstration for changing the character to sell things really quickly there's the assassin the barb then you're like okay maybe i want to trade something on my pally you don't even have to leave and save and exit the game so this is what the old trading website looked like it was good and there was nothing really wrong with it but it didn't have any pictures it wasn't that easy to use and this is going to be how it's going to look now wow look at that it actually shows a picture of the bow and dang you can actually look at the items you can search through them i'm loving this it's a lot cooler when you can actually see an image of it you know i know a lot of people are too lazy to read so that's fantastic as you can see right there he's putting in how many sockets he wants how much damage they want and at the end it says we have an update pending review right now it fixes bugs on items and improves the stability and availability of the feature it also now allows you to set an account name rather than a character it will automatically display the current played characters to viewers all right so that's going to wrap it up for the patch notes today guys i gotta say i'm quite impressed with everything that they've done it looks like the necro is getting a major buff through the skeletons and the reworking of i believe they called it the warrior and the trading website is probably the best one for me uh, again the old one wasn't super bad or anything but this thing looks just fantastic i can't wait to use it it's gonna be a great time guys so if you're wondering when the ladder reset is it's actually going to be this friday 1600 eastern time and i believe that's six o'clock in the morning for me out here in South Korea. You could look on the Reddit, which I will put in the description below, or you can go to their Discord and look at announcements. Either way, it'll let you know what the time is, and both of those will be linked. And I'll tell you right now, if you've never played Path of Diablo, just give it a shot. You got nothing to lose, doesn't cost you anything, and it's gonna be a load of fun. The softcore and the hardcore scene is huge, so everybody wins. And who doesn't like to play a server that doesn't have bots? And thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you like this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I will be live for the reset at twitch.tv slash DJ Waters 22. I make weekly videos on games like Path of Exile and Diablo 2, and I hope to catch you on the next video. Peace! <laughs>